our fourth spectacular speaker is an award-winning advocate for South Asian arts. She founded Madhuban Performing Arts, a safe space for performing artists, and this top 40 under 40 honoree was featured in Netflix, Kufia. Please put your hands together for Ishta Singla. I'm short. Okay. Namaste. All right, spectacular. Specks, specks of dust. I guess that's all we are, right? In this big, vast universe. And I guess how we become spectacular is by connecting and connecting to the energy around us. And that's when we shine brighter. And I think I had some instances like that in my life where I shone brighter than others. And the way I did it was by manifesting thoughts and listening to my thoughts. So one was in 2015, where I was just a dancer getting yelled at by my choreographer almost every other second. And that's when I got an idea. I'm going to start my own dance group because I thought I was so damn good. <laughs> 2019, I was a choreographer at the same event, opening act, Dance Montage University of Calgary. Someone who was completely untrained and got yelled at in 2015 was now leading the same dancers I had danced with in 2015. It was all in the mind. And I just had to believe. I just had to believe. And that same night, I got a message from one of the friends. Dude, if you ever start a dance group, I wanna join. Yeah, I do. I got yelled at and I think I'm really good. And I want to find dancers who have a mind of their own and can think for themselves, because oh, trust me, there's a lack of that in that industry. <laughs> and then I found a few dancers to dance with, you know, and we took some spectacular photos together, and that's my ex who took those photos, awkward. <laughs> that's my one performing arts, guys. And um, I'm going to wait till I show you how I found the rest of the people who are also very smart and can think for themselves. So this includes musicians, dancers, actors, and now we've grown to about 40 of them. So I guess there were a lot of crazies in the city who could join me and be spectacular together. And I never went back to that choreographer. Well, back to high school when I was 18, um, I was the valedictorian, and it was, a, it was a moment of celebration, but when I got off the stage, a bully told me that I will never make it uh, big in life because I was a valedictorian, and there was statistics about how valedictorians don't make it past <laughs> anything. But I told him that I, uh, I pick up a magazine, 20, uh, Forbes magazine 2030, and I'll be on the cover page. So it's still 2024, so I guess Avenue will do. <laughs> And yeah, uh, I stood there thinking about Forbes magazine, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and this is not gonna make sense to all of you, but um, this is a song that I got obsessed with uh, in 2019 or 2018. And it's a Tamil song, and I don't speak Tamil, but there's an actor in it who's really cute, and he's a superstar in India named Dhanush. And he's an actual superstar with a billion following. <laughs> and um, then I manifested him as well, because he shared uh, our video dance video promoting his song um, for a Hollywood-Bollywood crossover film, which is found on Prime a Video, I think, yeah, Amazon Prime. And we were on all the large newspapers, globally, and it was just like casually, you know? Hey, Dhanush. <laughs> and um, last year, this is my strategy meeting with my team. Remember the people I found, the smart people? I told them that I needed 25,000 and I needed them to help raise it because we wanted to do our first theater production at the Grand Theater, and it's gonna cost $25,000. The very next day, I got a phone call for this. Chinook Blast, four nights, uh, 300 people watching us uh, every night in the cold, and it almost raised uh, half of our budget for the show. And if that's not a manifestation, I don't know what is, because that was universe thinking is gonna happen. And so we did, we did our show, and um, I also wanted to look like this movie that I had seen, a Bollywood film, which you guys probably don't know anything about, but it's, it's a scene from Tamasha, and hey, I love that. Um, and. Um, I wanted us to feel like that when the standing ovation happened, and I'm not kidding you, I did not plan for this. We ended up looking very similar to that. It's a really bad photo, but trust me. <laughs> we looked 
very similar to it and um, felt very similar and we got a standing ovation at our first production. And I think I thought about that moment every other second as I was crying, panicking, yelling at my dancers, everything else. <laughs> and when I was four, uh, 16, a guy told me that I reminded him of Robin Scherbatsky. I didn't even know who Robin Scherbatsky was. I guess he also ended up manifesting my career because this is what happened uh, about three years ago. I'm gonna let the slide come on so you guys see. I work for CBC News. <laughs> like Robin Scherbatsky, <laughs> um, just in Canada. But I guess she was also Canadian. So I guess that adds up. And um, I, I'm not on TV yet, but I think I'll be soon. That's manifest. <laughs> and in How I Met Your Mother, it's also all about friendship. So I guess I also manifested a few of my friends. Even a Barney situation for those who get it. Uh, it's very tough. Um, he's a complete Barney and I don't know what to do with it. I, hopefully we'll get married soon. <laughs> and um, there it is, my four friends. Um, and I believe there's a Marshall too because he's married to the girl right beside me and the girl in the audience right there. Um, so I have my Marshall, Barney, my uh, Ted and uh, my Lily and they're, they're the reason why I'm here, because uh, they stand by everything I do. And I'm gonna manifest something together. I wanna tour the world in a bus, or at least Canada. I don't, th I don't know if it's possible, because Canada is big, but there's my company's name on a bus that I found on Google, and it's in India, but <laughs> we're gonna manifest this together, so let's think about it. My story is to be continued because we just manifested something together. Uh, so go home and manifest something tonight and think about it. I think it's gonna happen for you.